intro we saw some impacts how these magnet objects work. Now let's first take a look on how to handle these magnet objects. We've got some values to change the light cone, the scatter angle and the illumination value. Also you've got a global angle for the direction and a pop-up to choose from several predefined symbols. The symbols can be changed any desired by just double click the magnet objects. The symbols are pasted inside the magnet network so they were automatically transported with the object. Here we see the predefined symbols and are able to edit them. Let's just edit the symbol number 5. So if you can see, if I edit the symbol, go back into the drawing, select this uh, symbol so I just can scale day by the angle um, as desired. The second one is much more easier, it's uh, just scaling the symbol uh, by a page based value in millimeter and we've got an angle here to uh, change the angle of the symbols. Also here we've got the possibility to um, just uh, choose predefined symbols and those symbols are pasted inside the Marinette network so we can change them easy here or via the resource browser to make our own graphic. Next let's take a look inside those magnet objects uh, to see what kind of techniques they were used. Um, first what we can see here I've got the separator inside the object info palette to uh, make something like a name for the magnet objects. Um, so users can see that these two are two different objects and also uh, they can see the version of the object. So this is a, a possibility uh, to have a, some kind of a versioning of the magnet object. This is the, this input here and the other nodes are all native except this one to scale um, symbols and this one to calculate the bounding box. Bounding box node is native but this uh, enhanced version here uh, directly uh, returns the width and height and center points and stuff like this uh, just to save time to build up the, the script. Uh, the other interesting thing here is I have got a symbol which contains the whole MyNet network uh, this is just uh, some kind of security to have uh, saved the uh, the code of the object uh, um, on the second place in a simple instance and also I got the advantage to can centralize the script so I can just um, edit that symbol and change all minute objects in my drawing. So. And they all got the same version of the script because of that symbol. Um, what I do here is uh, insert the symbol, uh, look how big it is and scale it by the desired um, values and the other script uh, is the same system here. Uh, it's much more easier because it just um, scales the symbol by the desired value here. I got the page based uh, input value um, in millimeter and just scale that symbol by the desired value and I can change the radius and can return it by an angle. So this uh, movie is already over. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope I made something useful uh, this time and see you next time. Wish you a good time. Bye bye. Tschüss.